y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings Tumblers here, and today I'm gonna be doing a cup that was actually inspired from kind of a funny little place. So, I go to the Vinyl Cottage all the time. Y'all know I love some Vinyl Cottage vinyl. Well, next door is an Ace Hardware, and they have a little post office area in there. So, instead of going to the post office, I go by the Vinyl Cottage, and then I drop all my little packages off at the Ace Hardware. Well, they have all these cute little gifts everywhere, so I'm always looking around. And I was sitting there one day and saw this cute little purse with a little horse in it and knew that was gonna be a cup. So, when I decided I was going to do it on a cup, I knew that the vinyl wrap stripe cup, this is a split cup that Jessica Flynn from Flint Sisters Community did, was how I wanted to do it. Except on this one, I'm going to throw just a little Kelly twist in. So, I'm so excited about this cup. I love it. Maybe it's just my southern roots coming out, but I love how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoy it. Ask any questions, and thank y'all for watching. So I'm starting with a 20 ounce skinny straight from Craft Haven and I've sanded and spray painted the cup. I spray painted it with Rust-Oleum Matte White and I've measured the height of the cup and this 20 ounce is eight inches tall and I've made a halfway mark and then just kind of figured out how I wanted my sections to lay on the cup. So I do measure up from the bottom three and three quarter inches and I just happen to have a glitter shaker that was that height. So I'm using that to stabilize my pen. I'm just holding my pen there and then making a line around the cup. And then I'm gonna take my one inch painter's tape and I'm gonna lay that around the line that I've just drawn. So now I have my three sections to lay my vinyl. So I'm gonna lay each one of the top and the bottom first and then I'll come back and lay the middle section last. So I am just trimming off the white border that comes on these vinyl sheets. All the vinyl that I'm using today is from the Vinyl Cottage, and I'll link all the patterns and colors that I'm using today in the description box below. But before I apply the vinyl to the cup, I'm just gonna trim off this little excess white that comes with it. So I'm using the red bandana for the middle section, and I am measuring a little bit wider than the area I wanna use. I'd rather lay it down and have some to trim off than cut it too small. So I'm just trying to make sure here what my sections are gonna be and then measure my vinyl off and cutting that before I get started in the section so I don't waste a lot of vinyl. And then here I'm just trying to decide what part of the vinyl pattern is gonna look best wrapped around the cup. So I'm not getting too much of one part of the cowhide pattern on the top since it's a smaller area. Now I'm ready to apply my vinyl, so I'm just going to lay it around the cup just to make sure I get it pretty straight, and then I am going to cut off this excess piece right here. With this pattern, I don't really, I'm not too worried about the seam. There's not really much to match up, but I didn't want to waste that little piece, just kind of have it in the way as I'm doing it. So I am going to peel off just the first little edge of the backing of the vinyl, and then lay that down flat, and then I'm going to double check here just to make sure that that I'm pretty square on the cup here. And then press that down and then pull the backing off just a little bit here and then just allow the pressure of me pushing the vinyl onto the cup to pull the backing off at the same time. And I'll just continue to work my way around the cup and then if you guys have seen me vinyl wrap before, you've seen me lay my little piece of tape down just offset of the where the seam is going to be. So I'll have something for my craft knife to run up against to make sure that I'm not leaving a gap where I'm cutting the vinyl to meet here. So it'll leave me just a little bit of overlap. So once I get to that place, I'm just going to take my craft knife and cut right up against the tape and then pull my tape off. Then I'm gonna firmly press around the one inch that I've laid around the center of the cup and then just run my craft knife around right up against where that tape is laying here. Then 
Then I am gonna move to the bottom of the cup and I'm just gonna start with one of the seams here and just pull it as tightly as I can and press down firmly. And I'm gonna cut this bottom rim out anyway and it's gonna be covered. But so mainly I'm trying to make sure that there's no creases on the side of the cup where it's coming around to the bottom. Those are the areas that'll create a problem when you go to epoxy if there's creases there. And then I'm gonna go in with my craft knife and just trim off the excess here. And any little places that just kinda are sticking up that might be a problem, I'm gonna trim those off as well. And then I'll take my fingernail and just press it down all the way around the cup just to make sure that it's laying down as flat as possible here. Now we're ready to move into the cowhide. So I'm basically gonna do the same thing that I did with the denim on the bottom. Right here, I'm mainly trying to figure out how I can get this cowhide print to lay without too much of a seam. So I'm trying to figure out if I can trim off one end or the other to get it to flow as naturally from one side to the other without really noticing that there's a seam there. So once I figure out where I want the seam to be, I am gonna trim off the excess with my cutter and then be ready to move back to apply it to the cup. So now I've got my pattern lined up and I've got it lined up pretty square on the cup. So I'm just gonna peel this little strip off here, cut the backing off and then lay it on the cup and then apply this little piece of vinyl. And then I am gonna make sure here that my seams are lined up. So even though you can't necessarily see the bottom one that apparent, but I do want the seams to kind of stay in line with each other if possible. And then once I make sure my little strip is firmly pressed down, I'm gonna peel a little bit of the backing off and again, just allow the pressure of me placing the vinyl on the cup to peel the backing off at the same time. And then I do try to pull it pretty tight around the top just to make sure I'm not getting any air bubbles there and then pressing it pretty firm around the tape so I'll have my seam nice and pressed firm so I'll have a good place to run my craft knife up against when I trim that excess off. Then here I'm gonna lay my piece of tape down so I do have that raised seam to run my craft knife again so it creates a little bit of overlap since I'm not a very straight cutter and then I'm just going to press that down and trim it right up against the tape so it does leave me a little overlap now I'm going to peel that tape off and then press around the center one inch tape that we've got around the center of the cup and then trim off that excess as well. And then the top of the cup, I'm just gonna work my way around and make sure that all these little areas are firmly pressed down. There was a little piece of vinyl that came from somewhere there. So I just wanted to trim this up just a little bit. It wasn't quite straight enough. And then I'm just kind of looking at this seam too here to see if there's anything I can do to make it meet a little bit better. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pull all the vinyl around the top really tight just to make sure that I don't have any lifting there. So when I go to epoxy, it doesn't create any issues. And then I'm just gonna take my craft knife and run it around the top rim and trim off the excess. And then I probably have to do things the hard way, but I'm gonna remove this tape and then just trim up any little areas where the tape might've been stuck when I cut the vinyl. And then I'm gonna retape the top and the bottom. So I have, again, that seam to cut up against. So I'm not just cutting the vinyl, laying up against the vinyl. I actually have like a raised area where I can run my craft knife to give me a little bit straighter line here. So 
So here I'm basically doing the same thing as I did with the cowhide. I'm just trying to find the best area for the seam to be where it doesn't look so obvious. And then where I find I want the seam to be, I am gonna go in with my cutter and cut off the excess here just so I have a very straight edge here to lay down. And then I'm gonna find where the seam and my other two pieces are and make sure I've got it lined up pretty good here that my seam is gonna meet like I expected it to. And then peel off that little edge trim off the backing right there and then press it down on the cup just to make sure I've got a good straight line in the center here. Then I'll continue to press the vinyl around the cup and just removing the backing as I go around the cup. Then here I'm actually not gonna lay tape down. I'm just gonna trim it right there at the edge just because I really didn't want any overlap here. I was pretty sure that I could get this fairly straight and if not, you can see here, I kind of pick it, lift it up a little bit and just get it right where I want it where you can't really notice a seam there. And then I'm just gonna press the top and the bottom and trim off the excess that's laying on top of the tape. I'm actually gonna put some vinyl on top of this, little strips of vinyl on top of it. So if there's a little bit off there, you're not gonna notice it as much. And after I'm finished trimming off the excess, I'm gonna remove the tape and then I'm gonna go into from here straight into a layer of epoxy. I knew I was gonna be adding vinyl to this and I just wanted smoother lines to lay it on versus just going ahead and right, laying it right on top of the vinyl. I did want a layer of epoxy. So I do mix up 20 milliliters of Countercultures Artisan Epoxy. I don't use it all, especially this 20 ounce really didn't take probably even 15 milliliters because you don't have any glitter. You're basically just covering up the vinyl and it doesn't take that much. So I'm just gonna apply the epoxy, use the torch to pop any bubbles, and then I'm gonna move on to laying down my decals. So after I let that dry for about six to eight hours, I am gonna sand the top rim here, just very lightly because it's just vinyl and one layer of epoxy. So I take my 120 sanding block and I just create a small rim here, just to lightly sand off any epoxy that's gotten on the top and then just giving myself enough room for the next layer of epoxy to adhere before I lay the decals on. And then I'm ready to lay my decals. I couldn't find a whole collection of cowgirls I liked, so I kind of just picked through several different pattern sets that I purchased on Etsy, and I will link all those in the description box below. And I kind of have them in my mind how I'm gonna lay them out before I actually apply them to the cup. So I've kind of already gone and spaced them out. And then I'm gonna lay this one opposite than the same, just because she has more open area. The other cowgirls kind of are standing there with their legs closed, so I thought it would cover up the seam better. So that's kind of how I decided where I was gonna lay them on the cup. So I'm just gonna apply my transfer tape and then apply her to the cup. And then it might have saved a little bit of vinyl by going ahead and taking out the one inch section in the center when I was in design space. But I thought it'd be a way bigger headache to try to get them lined up on the cup that way. So I'm just gonna apply the full cowgirl to the cup and then go back and trim out the bandana area where I don't want you to, where I don't wanna have the decal there. And here I'm just trying to make sure that she's lined up straight on the cup. I had a hard time figuring out if she was standing up straight or not <laughs> because she kind of had that leg kicked out to the side. So I kind of moved her around a few times before I felt like I got her standing straight up. And here with her, I'm actually gonna trim out this center section because at this time I thought, I wonder if I really wanna see the rope on the outside of the bandana, like the rest of the girls all behind the bandana as their silhouette is, but then maybe the ropes on top. So I had the idea that I might wanna play with that. So I did end up, after I've laid my transfer tape onto the cup, I do trim out this center section thinking that maybe I wanna use it later, but I decided not to.
Then after I've got her on the cup, I'm just gonna remove my transfer tape and just repeat the process with the other cowgirls. However, I lay their full decal on there and then just trim them off once I get them on the cup. Just at the very top and the bottom of the section that has the bandana in it. And now I'm just gonna go in with my knife here and just trim off right at the top and the bottom where the center section is so I can see the bandana through there. And now I'm going into my next layer of epoxy and I am using Countercultures Fast Set. And I'm gonna use 15 milliliters here and then I'm gonna use my torch to pop any bubbles. And then in about three hours, I'm gonna be ready to move into my next layer of decaling. Now I'm gonna go in to apply the strips of red vinyl that I'm using here. And I will link this glitter red vinyl in the description box below, it's from the Vinyl Cottage. And I just went into Design Space and just took a square and stretched it out. And I actually cut them 0 0.15 by 11.3 inches. And then once I make sure they're pretty straight around, I'm just gonna trim off with just a little bit of overlap here. And I'm just going to go back around and repeat the same process for the top stripe here. Then after I have these applied, I do go in and add another layer of Countercultures Fast Set, another 15 milliliters, and I let that dry for about three hours before I add this decal. Now this decal, I just created these words in the font that I wanted on the Word Swag app. You guys might have seen me use that before. And then I did each word individually and I imported it into my design space. And then I knew that my cup was 9.75 inches in circumference. So I just lined them up where I would have the same distance between each one basically, and then just put a dot about halfway in between there. So, and then I attached them together and then so I could just print it off as one decal and then just wrap that around the cup. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. I'll try to have this file See if I can save it out of Design Space into my Facebook group, into the file sections, if you guys wanna use it. Obviously, you can choose any words you want. These were just three words that I chose and just tried to get them basically centered. I didn't wanna to have to lay them individually and figure out what the distance between each one was after I printed, you know, as I was putting it on the cup, I wanted to do it in Design Space just so I knew that my measurements would be right. And then you can see here, I do just take the, the backing off the transfer tape one word at a time, just to make sure that nothing gets stuck on the cup that doesn't need to be <laughs> before it needs to be there. Just so I can make sure they're centered in between the top and bottom little band there. And now we're ready to move to the bottom. And I did cut a 2.6 inch circle at the bottom. And I just went into design space, clicked the shapes, did a circle, and then measured it before. And I knew I wanted it 2.6 inches and it's basically 2.6 by 2.6 and then I'm just going to carefully apply that to the cup and run my finger around the edge so there's no creases and then no bubbles and then I'm going to move into my next layer of epoxy and then I'm going to finish up my cup with 20 milliliters of counter cultures artisan epoxy everything was laying pretty smooth so it didn't require another coat sometimes I will go back in with an extra coat just after I've 
place the vinyl and really the bottom just to make sure it's smooth but one coat really did it here so that was all I needed and then we're finished with the cup so I hope you enjoy my split cup here with my vinyl wrap and it spurred so many ideas for me doing it split like this so I cannot wait to see what all y'all come out with please let me know how you like it please share your creations with me if you all will go like share comment subscribe all that fun crazy stuff i sure appreciate it i appreciate y'all watching and i'll see y'all again soon